Hello, welcome to this our screencast from the Launchpad team in which we're going to show you how to add a PPA's key to apps in Ubuntu which means that you won't get any nasty error messages when trying to install packages from a PPA. So, first off, let's open the web browser. And we're going to go along and take this from the scratch. Basically, we're going to add a, a PPA to your system and then add the key. So let's go along to the GNOME do teams PPA. Uh, they live at do dash core on launchpad. Go along to the personal package archive. Okay, so we'll, you're probably familiar with this already. Copy the uh, the the line for the PPA to put into your apt sources dot list, or if you want to use the GUI as we are now, into software sources. Obviously, just add in your uh, sudo password and go along to third party software add the repository just take away that carriage return there and there we go so that's probably the bit that you're all familiar with and up until now that would have uh, worked just straight away that would have been all you'd have needed to do to add a PPA to Ubuntu but now we've reloaded the, uh, the, the repositories and there is an error because recently we have added keys to PPAs in Launchpad uh, there's more of that on the help wiki uh, about why we've done that but it's mostly to help you authenticate packages um, as being genuinely from the PPA you're expecting and not having been altered. Anyway so you saw that we clicked on the fingerprint there which um, identifies the key that belongs to the PPA and then we click on again and we get through to copy the public key itself so copy that to the clipboard open up a text editor paste it in and then save it somewhere uh, so I just saved it as saving it here as do core public dot key and that's that so that's now saved as a text file on your system right so now we go back to software sources but this time the authentication tab and import key file there's the key we saved, saved a few minutes ago well a few seconds ago okay so that's there that's that's in your system now you can now use that key or apt will use that key to authenticate packages when you download them from the do core PPA so let's do that let's let's install something from the do core PPA well the the gnome do package would be the obvious thing so let's go into synaptic reload the packages now that we've got the key there it will won't give us any error message because uh, apt knows all about that PPA's key so we go along uh, narrow it down just to the packages that are in uh, the PPA mark for installation yep 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 all good apply and down it all comes so why do we want to authenticate uh, packages in PPAs. Well as I said earlier it's all to do with making sure that the package is as built by Launchpad and it's so that you can um, verify that you know you haven't been redirected to some hijacked website or, or, or archive instead. Now um, this is by no means an a sign that Launchpad, Ubuntu or Canonical are um, endorsing the packages in the PPA. Uh, we don't do that. You must make sure that you trust the person who owns the PPA before you go ahead and install software from them. Uh, all this says is that the package is as Launchpad built it and no more. So okay we've now installed Gnome Do. Let's go along and actually use it. If you don't know, Gnome Do is a cool little application that lets you um, use keyboard strokes to get to various different uh, applications. So I use it a lot to update Twitter using their Twitter plugin. There's also a Launchpad plugin which lets you do cool things like search for bugs. Uh, okay, so we've got to try again because it didn't load up that time for some reason. And here we go, there's Gnome Do. So I type something in and press tab over 
to copy to clipboard. Now I could have selected something else there by pressing the down key, but this is just an, uh, a little demonstration. And there you go, it's worked. So we've installed GNOME Do from Assigned PPA, and it all works fine. We didn't get any nasty error messages, and we can be certain that the uh, package was as built by Launchpad on behalf of the Do Core team. Um, if you want more on that, go to help.launchpad.net slash PPA, and you'll see more about that. Thanks very much for joining us. Hope to catch you another time with another screencast. Bye.